In this video, we're going to be looking at AM FM metrics measurements with a Field Fox RF analyzer. Usually, these are measurements you would do testing a transmitter. I don't have a transmitter, so I'm setting up my signal using an EXG signal generator. You can see here on the lower left screen, the output of my EXG is connected to the input port of my Field Fox RF analyzer, the Spectrum Analyzer input port. This is a still image, but I wanted to show you the setup. These two other, this is the EXG control, this is live, and this is a field fox, this is live. So we'll go ahead and switch our combination analyzer field fox from the default cat mode to the spectrum analyzer mode, because we're making spectrum analyzer measurements. And on my EXG, I'm going to set up first an AM signal. I'm just going to, for example, set up a 580 kilohertz signal with an amplitude of minus 5 dBm, and I will turn RF on. And here I will set up my field fox to measure the 580 kilohertz signal. And there's my signal. Next, I'm going to turn AM on here on my EXG. We'll go to AM and we'll turn it on. The default modulation rate is 400 hertz. We will let that be, that's fine. I will change the AM depth to something we can see easily, let's say 40%. So it's a 40% depth, 400 hertz modulating signal, and you can see that here on the screen. If you wanted to just visually see the signal, do some spectrum analyzer measurements, perhaps even listen to the signal, this would be sufficient. If you actually wanted to get metrics and data to record it or for troubleshooting, you would come in here and you would press this button called AM Metrics. In, if you, once you press AM Metrics, you get this view. You get the RF spectrum view in one corner. On the right side, you're going to see your modulating signal, your baseband signal in a oscilloscope view and it's 400 hertz. I will change the timing to about four milliseconds so you can completely see the sine wave that we've set up. On the lower part, you get the metrics. Here, on uh, you get the power of the carrier, minus five dBm, the frequency of the carrier, and the modulation rate. And then on the lower part, you get some distortion values such as sine ad and the total harmonic distortion. This is a very clean sine wave, so we have essentially no distortion. And you can also look at the modulation depth, and if you want to see deviations from that, which you would be interested in, if you're maintaining your transmitter, you can turn peak on and off, or plus and minus on. You also can listen to the audio demod. Um, we don't do that here. We can't hear it. Um, it's hard through the headset. And you can also change like the listening time and the averaging type and so forth. So this is looking at an AM signal. What about FM? Well, let's go ahead and preset this and we'll look at an FM signal next. We'll come here and we'll turn AM off. And then we'll go into FM. I'll go ahead and change my signal to 140 megahertz signal. Let's say an FM signal at 140 meg with a span of 25 kilohertz. Oh, I typed in. 410. Okay, let's do 140 megahertz. There's my 140 megahertz signal. And now we go into FM. We turn FM on. The default modulation or FM rate is 400 hertz. I will change that to 1 kilohertz. And we'll also change the FM deviation to 4 kilohertz, just as an example, so we can clearly see the signal here. That's your FM signal. Again, you can visually see this if you all you want to do is see it or even listen to it and tune and listen, then the basic spectrum analyzer will do. If you want to actually look at the metrics, you will purchase the option that gives you the metrics values. That's option 355. And here we're going to press FM metrics. And here again, you have the RF spectrum view. You can see the modulating signal here, the baseband signal, and the data is provided on the lower part of the screen. You can again turn peak on and off. So here um, we have a sine wave. For example, I can go ahead and change my modulating signal from a sine wave to a triangle wave. 
and then you can see that in the right side here and the triangle wave will have a lot more distortion and you can see that your cyanide dropped to 18 dB and you have higher distortion rate. So this is where you would see the AM FM metrics results. Um, so again, if you're um, looking just for the basic tune and listen capability that comes with every spectrum analyzer in FieldFox, if you're going to look at the metrics, the actual data, you would want the option 355 that gives you the AM and FM metrics capability. That's it. Thank you.